All right, guys, the time has come to continue working on the blind for the boat. So if you haven't seen the first video, I'll leave a link up here in the cards and maybe in the description for you guys to go check that out. But we basically, in that video, rigged up the frame for this blind. This is a old Rogers Goosebuster three man that I use the crap out of and it's not going to work very well for this next season as being an every hunt blind. So I took this and turned it into my boat blind. It covers a pretty decent amount of the boat, basically from the back seat up to the deck. So it covers basically the whole empty spot where we would be hunting. So I just got to figure out a solution to hide the front and the back. But today, what we're going to be doing is digging into this box right here. I've got a box with like 20 something pounds of raffia grass in it. We got all kinds of different colors. We got tans, browns, and some greens. And we're gonna be making this blind look pretty decent. I'm not gonna go all out. I'm gonna make it look, you know, pretty good for what it is because, I don't know, I don't wanna run out. So we'll just kinda gauge it and see how we go. But check this out and uh, let me know what you guys think once we're all done. So something that I like to do whenever I use my raffia grass is get out all the different bundles and figure out how many different colors I have and go from there. So we've got all kinds. We got some browns, got some tans, got some like almost like smart weed red, which that could be really useful for like my kayak and stuff because that would work good for hiding in smart weed. But I feel like with the boat blind, the reds would be pretty decent. But here's what I kind of like to do. I need to get it, get my knife. So what I like to do when I get these is figure out the colors I want. So I want some green and tan and some browns. And are these, yeah, those are a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is take little bunches of each of these and toss them in that box and mix them around. So then all the colors are mixed up. I see it raffia grass and blinds a lot where people just take these chunks and do one string of it like that and then one string of it like that to where your colors aren't blended. So there's a quick tip for you guys if you're gonna use this raffia grass stuff. Mix the different strands together and it doesn't take a heck of a lot to make it cover a good size area. So we'll get these unwrapped. So I also get questions all the time about A-frame blinds and do you use raffia grass on them or do you use natural grass? It's a question that gets, it comes up all the time. And so my personal preference when it comes to A-frames is you could probably add some of this as a base, but you really want to have some natural cover on there to blend in. So like even on the boat here, I could put raffia on here and then come back, get to my spot and kind of touch it up with some other things that might match my area, maybe some tree limbs or things of that nature to where it's not just a weird color that stands out. So I recommend grass on your regular old plain A-frame. But raffia is an excellent thing to use on layout blinds and kayak blinds and boats because this stuff is water resistant, mildew and rot resistant. I'm, I've been using this stuff for a few years now and it holds up great. And it just, as it wears and gets dirty, it looks even better. So let's get a couple more of these bundles undone. We'll throw some red in here, why not? But you can see how I'm kind of laying them out here. I might not even do the box deal. I might grab a little chunk here, grab a little chunk of that, and work our way through it, um, and then mix the bundles up in my hands. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab a little chunk of this. And then I could probably grab half that amount since we're dealing with four colors here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this tan stuff, a little bit of the red, and then a touch of the green. And then I like to kind of mix it up a little bit, get it kind of scrambled. So then it, all the colors kind of complement each other. And there's two ways you could do this. You can run it through and tie a knot up top. But what I like to do is, so on this, it's going to be probably about like that. So 
So make a loop, run it up, and pull the rest through. Step one, complete. All right, I got half of the blind done. So here's what it's kind of looking like. And I, you guys can't see, but um, I've got a bunch left over. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bundles left that I can bust open and use. But after only using four, I think I can do the rest of the blind with the four. But it's looking really good. I kind of like the color on it. I feel like it's going to blend in most places that I hunt. See if you guys can see it. Maybe the lighting will be better over here. But, oh yeah, it's a lot better. You can kind of see how I mixed the colors together. So we got some green, we got some red, we got some tan, we got some brown. That is what would help boat blinds a lot. So, don't just grab a chunk of one color, throw it up there, take some time, mix it together, and you can have it looking really sharp. So, I'm pretty happy with how this is going and how it looks. I am going to need to get some grass to cover this. This stuff is so loose, it wouldn't really cover that very well. So I'm going to want something that will come up and cover over the front side of the blind. So just natural grass will probably do for that. But all in all, it's looking pretty darn good. All right, side number two is done. The boat has been moved to the driveway because we're going to throw this on there and see what it looks like. And um, we'll be kind of pretty close to having this thing ready to hunt. I just need to get something to cover the front of the deck and then the back deck and we should be good to go. So let's get this slapped on the boat. Well, I think it's safe to say it's starting to look more like a duck boat now. This is crazy. I had a feeling the grass would make it look pretty good, but uh, it looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. So um, eight feet of the boat is covered out of the other eight. So this actually back here doesn't look too bad. I think what I'll do is get like some garden netting or something and use a carabiner and clip it in right here, wrap it up and over and around, and then clip it in over there. So that'll be pretty easy. I don't know if I need to hide the motor necessarily. Um, probably wouldn't hurt, but I think, you know, for what it's worth, you can honestly probably hunt this the way it is right here. As long as you're kind of tucked back inside some cattails and you got some in front of you, should be all right. But, um, I'm not going to be using this thing in open water. So I need to kind of make my judgments on this. This is the budget duck blind for the boat. So, you know, I'm not trying to throw a bunch of money at it. I did buy a lot of grass, but I'm going to use that for other stuff as well. So got a bunch left over to where... I've got a dog blind that I need to brush in sometime. I actually need to buy one so I can brush it in. But the kayak might need brushed up and other things like that. So the, the grass is really no big deal since I got extras. So for the most part, it's looking really good. It, uh, it filled out good. So I, I like how it's hanging down. We're definitely gonna lose a little bit. So I'll come back and touch things up and uh, see how it looks. But overall, I think it looks pretty darn good so let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this here's the front side so we got the deck and Cora's dog blind might be up here we might just make a little spot for her um, we'll figure that out but it, sh it could just be as easy enough as laying a piece of something here and having some brush on it but other than that you know with this being just an old a-frame that I had slapping this thing together it works pretty darn good as a boat blind so I'm stoked so I guess this is part two of part three. We're gonna have one more part to go and that's gonna be the final product here where we kind of get the back and the front covered and figure out that situation. But I think this is starting to look really good. We're definitely gonna need to do some cleanup work here. So I'm gonna do that real quick, gather some of that up, re-put it on there, and we'll see how it looks without all the danglers. All right, well, I guess that is where we're going to end it today with the boat blind. It looks really good. I'm happy with how it's coming along. 
we need to figure out a way to cover up that top side of the blind and then bring some grass and stuff over the top and cover in that gap. So maybe I'll get some FA tough brush to use on that or something like that to where, you know, it'll kind of cover up those gaps and make it not as open up top. But overall, it's looking really well put together at this point with it just being an old blind that I had laying around and spending a hundred bucks on some of this grass. So uh, yeah, just need to get the back covered, the front covered, get some stuff covered in the middle and we're gonna be good to go. So stay tuned for part three of the DIY homemade budget duck blind video series. So that's it for today. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.